Okay, not so confused and oriented, disoriented anymore. Go, baby, go! Oh, not fair. How does this work? Starting game, level one. <laughs> I don't get it. Where's the ball? Oh. Ball. Sir, you will have to do better next time. <sighs> there we go. That was actually rather interesting. Run, 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 Now what was in my inventory? Level 5 suit! Yeah, that's right! How much it costs? Alright. Uh, let's 
60. Okay. I'll just sell off these plasma rounds. Oh. That's okay, I'll just sell off the stasis guy. Buy the suit! Alright, Isaac. Have you figured out how this works yet? Not really, but I don't care anymore. Let's just get this level 5 suit, okay? Yummy! Uh, what's different? I don't know. I thought you noticed. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna get up the elevator here. Text log, yay. United we ascend? Is Unitology a new hope or just another scam? If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions, counts, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks, claims 78 billion of stock in multi global companies, and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutes. Uh, GPSG Financial and Unitas Energy investments. From its beginnings as a cult of personality, Unitology has become a respected established religion. Yay! Most people know the basics. 20 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up instituted by Earth government, the discovery of an artifact or marker, which proved beyond any doubt there is alien life in the universe. The government labeled, uh, uh, labeled Altman a kook, but his claims struck a chord with some, and his mysterious death soon afterwards fueled that interest. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. Oh boy. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless. Like any cult, there's a dark side. You must join the dark side of unitology. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe that there are at least three ranks with the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research is revealed to a follower. Fantastic. And these ranks are achieved by one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money's bad? The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they do with them? Nobody will say, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With the emphasis, with their emphasis on transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. <laughs> One rumor ha that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim they have seen the fleet. No documents evidence. Ha no documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say. Ugh. Say all say these mausoleum ships, despite their size, continued on page ninety five. <laughs> all right, I guess I'll have to fade that page. In the meantime, I'm going to save and dash to the bathroom. All right, I'll be right back, Isaac. Hold your pause button.